Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Haunted Dolls and Curses video. I haven't done one of these in a while. In fact, I think it's probably been over a year since I last touched this particular topic, mainly because I was focusing on other subjects, but I saw this suggestion again that I took a screenshot of about a year or two ago, so I thought, why not? Why not showcase it here? Mainly because it doesn't necessarily have to do with a haunted doll, but more along the lines of a curse. And in fact, when I was reading this information, it's interesting because it ties in to a similar set of curses that I've talked about in some of my past videos. It all follows the notion that you're not supposed to take certain things from certain locations, lest you have some bad luck or some other misfortune follow you afterward. But in fact, you're looking at a representation of it here. It has a very unique name as well. It's known as Pele's Curse. So let's go ahead and let's talk about this entry here. I'll give my own thoughts and opinions on it as well. Some of you, in fact, when you hear about the location tied to this curse, you may realize you might have accidentally already done this. So this is a good warning for everyone else out there with regards to what might follow you if you go forward with the activities here. So, so let's go ahead and let's talk about that here. So what is Pele's curse? Well, it's something that's tied to Hawaii specifically. So I've never been to Hawaii myself. I might go one of these days, either to stay for a couple of days after a flight by airplane, or who knows, maybe I might take a cruise up there. But either way, though, some of you have already visited Hawaii, no doubt. And those of you that are there know that it's, of course, a very beautiful location to vacation to, to stay, to see some of the sites, to explore, buy lots of trinkets here and there as well, enjoy some of the food. I know some people that enjoy going to Hawaii several times a year. So in their case, that's their specific spot to be able to go to vacation. But what lies beneath Hawaii is an apparent curse that's evident there just for tourists. It doesn't really hit anybody that lives there in Hawaii because the curse in of itself only happens if you do one specific action and that's not going to happen with any of the uh, locals that live there. Instead, it's specifically aimed towards tourists. But first, let me talk about Pele in order for you to understand what the curse is about afterwards. So it looks like Pele is actually the goddess associated with the Hawaiian Islands. She was the creator of the Hawaiian Islands and in essence used volcanoes and fire to be able to create those, uh, those islands. And since then, she's been given a very, very strong uh, honor there within the Hawaiian Islands. A lot of people there show her great signs of respect. She's a well-known deity that's located there. Um, she's basically considered somebody who is to be respected, but also feared because of what the power she has there. So anybody that's there as a local in Hawaii, ask them who Pele is. There's going to be a good chance that they'll tell you exactly what she is about and what she helped in terms of the creation of Hawaii. And that way, whenever you go there, you'll know that this curse is attributed to to her specifically. This is why. Apparently the notion goes that if you take anything that's lava, lo lava rock related from Hawaii while you're visiting there, and let's say you take it back home, then all of a sudden you've enacted Pele's curse. She's not too happy about that. She doesn't want any of these things to be removed from her location, and especially if you do so willingly. Like let's say you might do it accidentally, there's ways to get around it, but if you do so uh, and you know that it's going to be bad news and you still do it automatically as is, then apparently this is when Pele enacts her curse upon you because when you do that, no sooner do you come back home, you're seen as a thief by her and all of a sudden both bad luck and great misfortune will follow you afterwards. It will absolutely haunt you to the day that you have that specific set of lava rocks in your home all the way until you get rid of them, i.e. placing them back within Hawaii. So that's essentially the curse in of itself. It's the idea that there's something there, a bad set of juju that happens afterwards if you do anything along those lines as far as taking those lava rocks home. And then, of course, you have this deity, this, this, this thing, uh, this goddess there that essentially is mad at you with regards to that. But I read another variation of it as well that states that it can be anything. It could be sand. It could be other forms of rocks. It could be other minerals 
that are associated from that location there. You do any of those as a tourist, even if you think, oh, wow, this is going to be a nice little trinket to take home, nice little souvenir. That way I'll be able to enjoy it, looking at it during later days. No, no, that's a big no-no because you're supposed to save it there, um, keep it there in order to ensure that you don't suffer her wrath afterwards. Now, what's interesting about that, too, is not only will you face the wrath associated with this deity, with this god Pele, but also the government. Apparently there, you're not supposed to remove any lava rocks without permission. If you do so, then you can be punished by law because it's considered a natural resource there. And then on top of that, many of the Hawaiians there frown down upon many of the tourists that decide to do so because, again, they're taking something associated with uh, that location. It would be like if somebody went to your home and then decided to take patches of grass or decided to take shrubs of leaves, something like that, without your permission, just as you're as they're walking by. Um, it's going to be seen something innocent, but imagine that times who knows how many thousands and thousands of tourists that come in on a daily basis, and that's essentially what happens there. You're going to have those tourists get mad at you, and when that occurs, it's just going to cause further frustration between the Hawaiians, the locals, and then some of the tourists that come about there too. Now, if you want to hear one other interesting variation of this curse, it actually has nothing to do with either an angry god or anything involving angry locals. Instead, it has to do with bus drivers. Can you believe that? This is another variation of it, probably the most interesting one. And it goes like this. Apparently, those same tourists that come about in Hawaii and then visit locations, they have to take transportation in order to get from point A to point B. And one of the most popular methods is a bus there in Hawaii. Well, apparently, those that are tourists that collect large amounts of rocks Again, I was mentioning earlier, imagine how many thousands of visit on a daily basis. They were creating so much dirt within the locations there in the buses that the bus drivers were getting tired of it. It was causing their bus to be completely filthy because of all the dirt and the grime that would be collected within the bus by the end of the day. So somewhere along the way, somebody started the legend of this curse in order to discourage them from having these rocks being collected by all the tourists, and then it just took on a life of its own. So, interesting stuff. You have three different versions of the origin of this curse. You have the god themselves, then you have the locals frowning upon upon things, and then you finally have uh, this involving bus drivers. And if you want to consider a fourth involving the law, it, of course, is something along the lines of it being uh, minerals that you can't remove within any kind of locations there altogether. So let's say you've removed, either by accident or by purpose, any of the rocks or any of the items, minerals, sand, whatever that you took from Hawaii, you're suffering all that bad luck. What do you do? How do you get rid of it? Well, apparently it's as easy as it sounds. All you have to do is essentially place that stuff back within its location. Uh, the tale goes that each year there are hundreds of visitors, tourists, that eventually send packages over back to Hawaii, and these packages only contain one thing. All those rocks, minerals, sand, whatever that they took from that location, and they place it within the packages with instructions to whomever opens it there. No doubt they were probably sent to some kind of wildlife or park department there in Hawaii to place it back, and then that's it. You essentially have um, this type of, of stuff, the bad luck, the bad juju that I was mentioning earlier, gone. It's removed from you, and then whenever that occurs, that angry god is no longer mad at you because of what you've done. You've done the right thing and returned everything back to normal. Then that's it. So you can move on with your life, and then you know better about what to do next time. Interesting, though, uh, with regards to one other item, I decided to take a look on eBay just to see if anybody was selling any of this stuff. And then sure enough, it looks like there's some there. I see some Hawaiian black sand that was being sold there from just a small amount to various pounds as well. Then I saw some other rocks that were being sold there too. So either way, if this curse is still there, if it's still alive, if it still happens on a daily basis, some people are still taking a chance. So they're still taking these materials and probably some of the locals that live there and are deciding to sell it. So that way they could capitalize on people's interest in having little trinkets here and there to be able to uh, ship it wherever in the country or any other country out there 
and then sell it for a tidy profit. But again, they're doing so at the risk associated with this curse. Now, do I believe in this curse in of itself? I've talked about that within some of my past videos, some locations as well that had similar things. I remember there was one involving a small ghost town where the idea was you're not supposed to take anything there lest you have something really, really bad happen to you. People have apparently taken that bet and they decided to do so and then they've regretted it instantly. There's been a myriad of tragedies and other forms of bad stuff that occurred to them and so same thing, same situation. Packages came in afterwards with the people who took that stuff claiming how sorry they were about that and then making sure that they could try to have as much as possible that curse lifted. So I do believe that there's something there. I think a lot of it might be just stuff involving people's perception, like almost as if they're thinking it, so it will happen. And and then, and then it's almost like a placebo of sorts. But in another case, I think there could be something supernatural associated with it. When I hear the word deity, um, it gives me a little bit of pause because deities are just existential beings that live here on Earth. So the idea that you have something like that that can basically be around that location and be almost at all places at all time watchful to see if anybody is taking that stuff, it would give me pause. I would not take anything there in Hawaii, again, without any kind of specific permission. How that would be, how that permission comes about, I have no idea. But I would not take anything, and I wouldn't recommend anybody doing anything, not just because of the law, but also because who wants to have the wrath of a god essentially being mad at you afterwards um, wherever you are, and so you don't want to take that kind of chance. So those are just my thoughts and opinions. I'll definitely enjoy, if I ever go to Hawaii one of these days, the scenery. I'll be happy to pick up any of those lava rocks that are there to look at them, take pictures, and so on. But taking anything in person... Absolutely not. I'm just going to go ahead and never, ever take that chance. But let me know what you guys and gals think. Anybody there from Hawaii that lives there that knows more information on that, um, post it in the comments below. Maybe some of you that are tourists, do you have any more information too? Maybe you've accidentally taken some stuff and now you realize your life is cursed. Uh, post it in the comments. Let me know what you guys and gals think. All right, everyone. Thanks again as always. Take care. Bye.